I'm using a 4x4 with a C-clamp attached to it as a uh, stop for the lengths that I need. The cross members are 14 and a half inches of 1x3 and that will make a 16 inch deep shelf. So the first thing you do is it takes five space two foot apart for an eight foot shelf. Um, so five per shelf and I go ahead and cut those off first. So for every 8 foot length of 1x3 you can get 6 14 and a half inch cross pieces out of it. How I lay out the sides of the shelves. So I've got my cross pieces that are 14 and a half inches spaced 2 feet apart. So there will be one on the end and then every 2 feet. So using the same 4x4 that's up against my saw. I kind of use it as a stop. So I've got two 1x3s laid side by side, which would be the side pieces. Then I measure off of the tape measure. I go down two foot, put a line, four foot, put a line, six foot. You can see my square that I've got there, put a line, and then an eight foot down here, the ends are lined up. And that's where the cross pieces go. Next, I put the cross member pieces onto the uh, sides for the shelf. And uh, I use uh, F clamps. There are 24 inch F clamps. The shelf's 16 inches deep, so it works out just fine. Um, I've only got four clamps though. There's five pieces, but if you just put it in like the center, like this one here, I've got in the center, it'll hold the other, it'll hold the two cross members in both places. Then using a uh, cordless drill, or if you got an electric drill, uh, line your cross members up with your sides on the marks, like I've got there, and then basically put two holes, drill two holes on either side. So once you have the holes drilled all the way around, then you take the bar clamps off, you actually glue the pieces and then you put it all back together with the bar clamps and then you use uh, two inch screws to hold it together. So the, the actual strength comes from the glue, combination of the glue and the screws together. So uh, it's going to look the same once I actually get it glued and screwed. So no really sense in showing the... Uh, any more images like this. So the next thing will be going up on the wall if I can figure out a way to hold the camera. So the reason why that we pre-drill the holes is so that the wood doesn't split. This is only one by threes. Then the next thing that I do is I apply glue and two screws. And then you just continue down at the other two foot marks.
All right, so once you get the first side done, basically you just flip it over. Lay the other piece on top. And then I find it's easier to just screw all or drill all the holes at once, then go back, apply the glue, and then apply the screws. And once you are done, you will have an eight foot shelf with the cross members and then I've got uh, more shelves over here that I made So this are the 2x4s that go on the front to kind of serve as legs and support. Um, they're 2x4 long and for my shed they're 61 inches tall. So I'm getting ready to measure and cut those. For setting up and cutting the 4x8 OSB, it's easier just to use saw horses. So I space them about 6 feet apart. Then I put the OSB board on it. Measure from each long edge 16 inches, which is the width of the uh, shelves. And then I rip them with a hand circular saw. It's usually a pretty good idea to adjust your saw horses so that it doesn't sag in the middle. <laughs> 